What's going on my broskies, my name is Toadski back again, here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and in today's video, Treasure Map is, you know, right around the corner, and of course we're going to bring you guys a preparation video, just talking about each of the bosses, give you guys a couple of ideas as to some characters you may want to think about bringing into these fights, and we'll get into it. So, the, the final boss, the intrusion, you know, as typical, you know, there's some definite things that you need to take into consideration when you're building your teams this time around. I feel like it is slightly easier than some of the ones we had previously, but I will admit, like, some of the things are very annoying. Specifically in, like, the, in the intrusion boss, there's, like, a lot of, uh, bind that you have to get around, and there's not a lot of easy ways in terms of boosted units you can actually get around that. We'll talk more about it once we get to it. But, of course, in this event, you're going to be able to get your hands on the Super Evolution of Jinbei. I've already talked about it in the data download video that came out a, a couple of days ago. Uh, Jinbei, I, I think that they really should have gone above and beyond, given this character a bit more more of a buff because as it stands right now I feel like he's not a great super evolution for this free to play unit would have loved to have seen a little bit more but it is what it is okay so not really too much I want to touch up on there because we already talked about it extensively in the data download video uh, and then you know it's pretty typical treasure map stuff the first run is going to be a bonus map the 21st run was going to be a, a super bonus map or whatever or every 21st every 25th run is going to be a super bonus map uh, so those are really really cool get lots of good rewards alternating pens which don't really exist they claim that they do but they don't really because no one's ever dropped them pretty much and then we'll get into the treasure map crew we'll start things off obviously with the first fight against chopper so in this quest there's going to be block slots hunger stacks damage reduction damage threshold now the thing is is that this luffy just kind of deals with everything which is really cool he says that if you have two or more characters with recovery slots you remove six turns of rainbow shield five turns otherwise and then if you have two or more characters with int slots then you reduce six turns of threshold five turns otherwise so the ideal thing here is is to somehow get away so you can have you know half of your crew with recovery slots half of your crew with int slots you can definitely do that if you use the free to play Jinbei on your team there aren't really a lot of ways to do it except you know you could use like you know a special to get recovery slots then use one luffy special then change those slots into matching and then use luffy special again and you have int characters on your crew that's obviously the best way to do it in this team though we're just going to be using luffy and his super type which gives a full board of recovery slots and then the free to play zora on this team he will uh, go ahead and remove the threshold as well so yeah it's pretty much how it goes nami's also boosted unit you're just running straw hats because you need to use straw hats basically to trigger the ex super of the free to play luffy they recommend you to use the free to play luffy it just it's kind of like what works right so if, with double luffy you shouldn't have any issues uh versus this chopper battle rush boss Moving up against Brook now, uh, with Brook, they are suggesting you guys to go ahead and bring Exchange Legend Ace and the free-to-play Whitebeard from the previous month of events. These two characters synergize really well together to basically get around almost all the gimmicks here. So, with Ace as your captain in his captain effect, it does state near the bottom that it does remove 5 turns of chain reduction and 5 turns of chain attack down. And you are inflicted with uh, these two different debuffs, and he, as a captain, will remove that. You're also inflicted with stun. Ace obviously does a health cut, which is great. You want to use Ace special first, and then use the White Bid special, because White Bid will have the ability to inflict increased damage taken to the opponent through full immunity, so long as he's below 10% health, which Ace is capable of doing. Uh, the White Bid removes 5 turns of burn, but you are inflicted with 6 turns of it, so that is something you may want to you know, look at if you wanted to remove additional turns of burn. Or alternatively, just don't hit perfects. This might be the super burn. I can't remember exactly if it's super burn or normal burn. Uh, according to the icon, it is like the super burn, which has like the three stacks of fire instead of the, the normal one or two. I think uh, you do have to be very cautious of that. But despite that, Ace and Whitebeard basically deal with everything. And then you can just kind of build your team around that. Moving on to the next boss, which is versus Frankie and Usopp, which is a strength-focused boss. Uh, this one, they are suggesting for you to bring the Super Evolution of Quick V2 Kaido, as well as the free-to-play Alba that came out last Super Boss Kizuna. These two characters synergize well together. You have the ability of Alba, which can do a health cut and give you boosts, and then you have... Uh, the Kaido, of course, which when you're below 50%, he allows you to use his super type, and his super type, if you have double Kaido, removes three turns of damage reduction and threshold, so ideally, use Alba to cut your health, then use the two super types. Alternatively, you could just use the Moby Dick ship, which starts you off at 50% HP, which will allow you to automatically use that super type without having to use another special, you know, whatever you need to do to get through that content. And then, of course, you do get badly matching slots, but Kaido with his special gives you matching slots anyway, so that's not 
an issue. And then when you kill the boss, he revives with 10% health. He does 20k damage to you, which will automatically trigger the Kaido specials. And, you know, it, it doesn't really matter. Basically, on the revive, Kaido uses his specials, and then you can just kill after the revive. It's it's pretty straightforward. You know, use double Kaido, use Alba if you want. The rest of the characters are basically just supplementing that strategy. Now we get to the final battle rush boss and as per usual the final battle rush boss is usually really annoying in terms of the gimmicks that they do now this is a really obscure team and i'm sure there are going to be better ways to build teams to come up against this quest but what we're doing here is we're using double tm legend blackbeard main reason for that is is because he as a captain has a special that will remove bind for your crew and that's pretty clutch because you do see that you you will get your crewmates binded it's for for nine turns with sockets it goes down to six turns so your captains are the only characters that are available so you ideally want a lot of supports to remove bind or you want a captain that resists bind or a captain with a special that uses bind removal and then you also need to get around block slots which is why we have buggy you need to get around paralysis which is why we have jimbei you need to get around damage nullification which is why we have the sanji on the crew and then we have the lead performers which can just give you like a bunch of damage really uh the there is another thing as well is that when you actually get the boss to zero they do a hundred thousand damage to the crew this team will have over a hundred thousand hp in treasure map so that shouldn't be an issue at all um, and the thing is, is if you do use this Blackbeard as a captain, he does negate the usability of damage reduction effects, like most Blackbeards have that ability to do it. So it doesn't really work to use characters on your crew that trigger damage reduction that will not work for this character at all. But because this character in his crew will have so much HP, you can literally tank the death hit and that won't be a problem at all. So yeah, it's a bit of an obscure team, of course, but it does get the job done. All of these characters are boosted in the event, despite not all of them having the glowing effects. And you guys might see that, it's just because the, the boosted effects haven't been applied yet. But every character here is a boosted unit. This team will work. Is it the best team out there? Probably not, but it does get the job done. Now we get to talking about that final boss, which is where things get a little bit tricky. So this is the team that I am suggesting uh, in terms of like a quote unquote accessible team. And of course, with the friend captain, we want to be using the highest booster, which in this case is going to be the free to play treasure map booster, Nico Robin. Now, by using that, Nico Robin has a really good special, which allows you to inflict defense down. It removes a bunch of despair and it gives you tap timing chain bonus. All of those are going to be very useful on that secondary on the on the third stage. Uh, in terms of that second stage though, we have uh, Bonnie, which can deal with the special reverse and also give us a pretty good attack boost. And then we also have Jimbei, which can remove attack down, also remove the increased defense, and can also give you the int slots, which help you break through that barrier. So all of those are very, very nice. So Jimbei and Bonnie together have great synergy on stage two. When we reach the final stage, we have to deal with a lot of chain debuffs and there is chain attack down where you need to exceed 2.2 in order to actually get the ability to you know start doing damage so we have the sanji on the crew which gives us chain boundary there is an interrupt if you activate a chain locking effect which will, re will remove your beneficial effects and inflict five turns of slot bind to the crew all of those are really really bad obviously but the removal of beneficial effects it doesn't matter that much because chain locks can't be removed via that effect uh, so i assume that will be the case here as well uh, so ideally we use Sanji special first for that chain boundary. Now the thing is, is that the Nami and Shinobu on this team have slot bind removal as a potential ability, so they will have access to their own slot. And then you can use their special, which removes some of that despair that's inflicted to the crew. They also will trigger the support of Vivi, which will give an orb boost to cerebral characters. And then the special ability of Nami and Shinobu also give color affinity. So, uh, so you have color affinity from their support. You have the orb boost from uh, from the support. Sorry, you have the special, which gives color affinity and also removing that despair. Shanks is special will give you a really good attack boost, even though you are inflicted with a minor attack boost anyway, but Shanks will still give you a really good chain boost, base attack boost, matching slots, as well as the support of Yasob, which removes some of that despair as well. As we said, friend captain uh, Nico Robin will also remove all the despair. So Nico Robin special, the support of Shanks, and now Nami and Shinobu, all of those combined will remove all of the despair for you, which is really good. And uh, by that point, you should have enough damage in order to get through. So it's a bit of an obscure team. And with Robin Friend Captain, despite her being a Psy character, we still have like all of the boosts active for Shanks because you want to have four characters of one type to get the best bonuses. And Shanks is capable of doing that for us. So yeah, a bit of an obscure team, uh, but it all actually does kind of work, which is the crazy thing. You know, it, it doesn't look like it would work, but it does work, which is the cool thing. 
And now we get to the Lilith boss. Now, due to the fact that there are so many effects of bind here, you've got nine turns of bind to your captains on stage two, and you have 10 turns of bind to your crewmates on stage three. Due to that, I opted to use Gear 5 Luffy as the friend captain for this one, being the six star version of Luffy, as his captain ability does resist special reverse, and it also does uh, does uh, help you with the uh, with the bind removal stuff. So, yeah, he's not a boosted unit, and yeah, it's a little bit awkward to use it, but he just basically helps you get through the content much easier. So, I felt like this was just a better option rather than running a stupid janky team just to get rid of a bunch of bind, because there is still a lot of other debuffs you have to deal with. Namingly on stage 2, 3 stacks of hunger, not easy to get around. Uh, in this one we've got the V1 Bonnie Legend, uh, which is an old school one at this point. Does remove the hunger stack, which is really good. And then we'd also have Shanks' special, which removes the paralysis, gives us matching slots, and also gives us an attack boost, which is pretty dope. But then this is where we would have the Bonnie special as well, because Bonnie changes badly matching slots into recovery. So by using Shanks first, and then we'll use the Bonnie special, We'll get uh, a bunch of buffs and also get matching slots, which is fantastic. Luckily, the unfavorable slots only last for two turns, so when we reach stage three, that will not be active. Then we reach the final stage, gear five once, of, once again avoiding the bind. The friend Captain Robin is just basically going to remove the resilience for us, which is very useful, but also give us tap timing chain boost. Jinbei will remove the attack down. And the other thing is we are inflicted with pain, so every time we activate a special, we're inflicted with 18,000 damage. That's obviously a bad thing, but Luffy as a captain has the really cool effect is whenever we're dead, we just get the full revive. So this is a really neat way to get around that pain debuff is just, just tank it, and then Luffy revives of course, which is dope. So that actually works to our favor. And of course, anytime you activate an attack boost, the enemy will remove your beneficial effects and captain swap you. But that's not going to be a problem because we're not activating any attack boost on the final stage anyway. We do have the support of Uta on Nami and Shinobu, which says that anytime we activate their special, we get a 1.5 attack and orb boost to cerebral characters. Nami and Shinobu also have slot line removal as a potential ability, so they don't actually have to worry about that at all. Nami and Shinobu are going to be the key character here if you're looking for free to play access because they're a really good int cerebral unit they work well with a lot of the boosted units and they allow you to you know avoid the the slot bind related stuff of course if you actually pulled on the treasure map sugo fest and got your hands on the treasure map booster nami she actually removes the slot bind for you so you can replace one army for another which is at least a good thing i like they they probably didn't even plan that to be the case but if you pull that nami you use her if you don't nami shinobu just kind of works out in her place just for the slot bind related stuff so that actually is pretty cool, but yeah, it, it will be a little bit less points because we are using Gear 5 as our captain, but it will help us get through the content much, much easier. And with that, that is going to wrap it up for me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy it though, make sure to go ahead and leave a like, and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.